Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Jade Harrell. My guest is Bill Koontz from the Highway 61 Roadhouse and Kitchen here with us to talk about the amazing food and drinks they offer every weekend and upcoming Mardi Gras. They're calling it Party Gras, Bill. That's our twist on it. We got to be a little different than everybody else. Yeah, for sure. Well, like you said, it's one of the biggest parties. Uh, but it's really nice to know that how you came to create Highway 61 for us to enjoy. Uh, after going to Vegas and working for others, you said you wanted to break out on your own. Uh, was it because of, well, what is the reason? I don't want to assume. I don't know. You know, everybody uh, thinks they have the best idea in the world, and I just really don't fit in the corporate world too well. So it's like, I better make a job I can have for a long time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a guy came to me and said, hey, I want to do a restaurant with you. And I said, are you sure? And he said, yeah. Yeah. So uh, sat down, thought about. I had this idea a long time. I love Cajun cooking. I love the barbecue. Put them together. They all have a lot of history together and Southern cooking. And I love music. You know, all yeah. kinds of music. You know, rock started from blues, and and you know, it just all fits together. And it's it's a. Uh, uh, you know, it's not a place where you're slinging hamburgers and, and eggs every day and just churning out food. You're, you're making an experience for Absolutely. people. Absolutely. So. What does your dad say about it now? Uh, well, he's been dead 10 years, oh, and, so. and he was proud. I mean, you know, he, uh, you know, you never listen to your parents until it's too late. And, mm -hmm. and then, you know, I was all in, and it's all I've ever done is the restaurant business. Mm -hmm. So I... Uh, he didn't have any choice. He didn't want to support me anymore. Sure, sure. <laughs> there comes a point in time, you know, oh, you got to yeah. go on and start that adulting thing. I had to put on my big boy pants that's right, and uh, that's right. do it on my own. And your big boy hat. So I love how you have really embraced the season. You, you seem to be very energetic and fun, and that's poured into the to the restaurant and kitchen, to the roadhouse and kitchen. Uh, when did you open the doors? Uh, uh, the, the Twelve first and a half years ago. Wow. It was uh, October of uh, 2006. Yeah. And, uh, you know, been going ever since. In uh, 2012, we got lucky and got on diners, drive-ins, and dives and just picked things up. You know, it's, um, and, and it's funny how that happened. And, and Guy, the guy who hosts the yeah, uh, yeah. show, him and I went to UNLV, and so we had a bond there, and it just went really well. Yeah, it did. Well, so. he's not the only one. Lots of folks love you. Uh, so Food Network's uh, diner, uh, din diners, drive-ins, and dives, but you were also voted Best Comfort Food in St. Louis by the editors of the Riverfront Times, voted Best Decor, so the flavor, uh, of, by the readers of the Riverfront Times. Sauce Magazine also has you listed as the Reader's Choice favorite Cajun and Creole restaurant. And then Webster Groves, Shrewsbury area, Chamber of Commerce voted you Business of the Year. So something there is working. Well, you know, it's it's a lot of effort, but it's fun. It's, you know, you see people leave with a smile and you did your job. And, you know, we tend to do things a little different than most people. You know, you walk in, looks like a trailer outside and you <laughs> right walk in and different. we got chandeliers hanging up with right. junk all over right. them. And, you know, my kids walk in and they're like, oh, dad, what kind of new junk did you get? And uh, I just said, I think someday this is all going to be That's yours. All, and yeah, they right. cringe. <laughs> <laughs> they might be cringing, but you can't beat a 12 and a half year legacy. This is really, really good news. And I think it shares a broader commentary. You're telling a story about being creative, uh, expressing yourself, and maybe thinking outside of the box. What would be your message for someone who's watching now who doesn't really want to fit into the conventional? Uh, when they tell you no, try harder and do it anyway. Just don't don't lose that drive because that's that's what's gonna. And you got to be different. You got to stick out. You have to make yourself unique to because yeah. there's so many options now. You know, right. uh, you know they can go eat at a factory type restaurant or they come to somewhere unique and be different. And, yeah, yeah. And you can't be everything to everybody. We have people that say your food's too spicy. It's too noisy in here. Well, then we're not right for you. Sure. That's your response. Yep. You said it that way. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I bet you said it in a very unique and creative. Well, no, I have someone, I have a reputation manager sure. that handles those things for me, Marla. There you so go. She, uh, and she's terrific. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate Marla for bringing the uh, idea to our attention. Please invite our folks to the party that is happening on March 2nd 
with your Mardi Gras party gras so they can come out and enjoy. Well, that just starts the second, uh, 11 till 11, on, and then we're normally closed on Tuesday, but we got to open the 5th on Fat Tuesday. We're open 4 to 10. we got Paul Bond and the Bluesmen there from okay. 6 to 10. More uh, party favors and, and uh, partying until we all got to be good come Ash Wednesday. That's right. We're all toast to that, huh? Here we go. Here's <laughs> Mardi Gras. For more information on Highway 61 Roadhouse and Kitchen, visit Highway 61 Roadhouse, HWY61Roadhouse.com, and we'll be right back after this.